Hi, my name is Patrick Boyle and welcome to my YouTube channel. So in today's video, we're going to talk about factors that impact the price of options. So there's a bunch of things uh, that we need to talk about. Uh, probably the most obvious one is the, the price of the underlying. And I think when you first learn about options, it seems like almost the only thing that's going to affect the value of an option is the price of the underlying. So with a call option, if you're long a call option, if the price of the underlying moves up, that would increase the value of the call option. And if you're long a put option and the price of the underlying falls, that would increase the value of the of, of the put option. And while that's correct, there are six different uh, factors that we'll talk about. The first one we've already really spoken about, which was the current stock price. And the, the second one is the strike price that's agreed upon. And obviously, this because the payoff of a stock option relates to the difference between the strike price and the stock price at expiration, the strike price will have a similarly, I guess, obvious effect on the payoff of an option. The next one we'll talk about is time to maturity or, or how, how much time is left on the option. And the more time that's left on an option, the more valuable it will be. And that seems maybe a little bit obvious, but maybe not as obvious as it needs to be. So let's talk a little bit about extreme. OK, so let's imagine you have a call option and the underlying is trading at 100 and the strike price of the option is 200. So in order for that, option to become uh, exercisable, it, the, the price of the underlying needs to double. Now that option, if I told you that that option expires in two minutes time, uh, you might think that that, that uh, option is close to valueless because it may be extremely unlikely for the underlying to double in the next two minutes. Now, if I told you that that option expired in 30 years time, you would probably see that that option is quite valuable. And I, I guess the reason for giving that example is to point out how, uh, how much it matters, how much time there is left to expiry on an option and, and how that will affect the value. Now, that will affect both the value of call options and put options, because essentially the more time that there is remaining, the more things that can happen either to drive the price up an awful lot or to pr drive the price down an awful lot. So for either type of option, the longer the time to expiration, the more uh, an option will be worth. And so then equally, uh, when we look at an option, and a call option with 30 days to expire will be worth a little bit more than a call option with 29 days to expire, all other things equal. So that is time to maturity. The next thing that we'll talk about is the volatility of the underlying. In finance, we often talk about volatility. Volatility we usually measure with standard deviation. And the more volatile the underlying is, the, the more an option is worth. And that works for both puts and calls on the same underlying. Now that at first may not make intuitive sense, but let's think a little bit about it. If we have two underlyings, if there's one company, it's a water utility company, and the stock price doesn't do much because it's in kind of a boring industry. You know, a water utility, they can't hike up the price of water in order to increase their profits, and they, they're not really going to see huge swings in, in demand or supply, really. So that might be a very staid business. On the other hand, we might have have quite a volatile business like we'll say for example a biotech company and so a biotech company might uh, be bringing a new product a new medicine to the market that uh, is, is being trialed right now and should the trial go well um, they might have a huge market for this product and should the trial go badly the, the company might be uh, you know financially in trouble and so when you have a, a, an option on either of these two companies, uh, all other things being equal, the option on the biotech company, a call or put option, would be much more valuable than the call or put option on the, um, on the water utility. And so the reason for that is just quite simply that the, the biotech company, it's in a much more volatile business. And so it's more likely for that, uh, that stock price to double 
but it's equally more likely that it will half. You know, e either thing can happen, and that is taken into account in the volatility. And so as we go on, we'll have probably a few other videos on the topic of volatility because it's one of the most important things in pricing options. But you'll start to see how important volatility is when we're pricing options. So the next thing up is the risk-free interest rate. And because, uh, you know, we haven't yet gotten to our formulas for pricing options, but uh, as you can imagine, every formula in finance uh, ends up present valuing a future cash flow. So that will be in uh, the, the formulas that we use to, uh, to price our options. And so the changes in the risk-free rate will impact the the price of options and I'll do a video on that a little bit later but um, that that tends not to have a huge impact like compared to some of the other things we've just spoken about the risk-free rate won't have a huge impact and then finally dividends expected over the life of the option dividends will impact the the price of options and the reason for that is that they will impact uh, the returns of the underlying so whenever a company pays a dividend uh, under normal circumstances you would expect the price of the stock to fall by the amount of the dividend paid and obviously therefore a, a dividend being due on a, on a underlying will uh, will decrease the value of a call option on that underlying and increase the value of a put option on that underlying and once again we'll we'll talk about uh, these things in greater detail when we get to uh, doing a video on the greeks which we'll do in a few weeks anyhow i uh, hope you found this video useful if you did make sure you hit the like button subscribe if you'd like to see more videos like this and comment below if uh, if there's any videos you'd like me to make have a great day. Bye.